So for this update, Box Cutter now has the ability to bevel individual points. So here I am using Ngon to just begin drawing a shape. And I'm just going to right click in order to stop the draw. And we're now in this 2D pause state. So basically by holding middle mouse button over a point, I'm able to bevel this individual point. And we can now bevel individual points inside of Box Cutter. However, we're also able to bring the points all the way in and turn it from a bevel to a chamfer, but only on the first point. Another thing is that the way that we're doing point beveling in this version of box cutter compared to versions that we had in 2.79 is that we're using weight. So basically you cannot bevel a point larger than the largest weight that you already have defined, which basically will define the value of basically one. So it's kind of complicated to explain. However, as you work with box cutter, it'll become a little bit more apparent. So now that we have a few points beveled on this and points that are not, we can just begin extruding this. And just like that, we're now able to draw out points and bevel them inside of box cutter. So to emphasize a little bit more about what I was talking about with certain points, not being able to be beveled larger, let's just draw a shape and then pause it. You know, we'll move this point so that way it's straight. And we want to bevel this point. So we're just gonna start off beveling it, but we only wanna bevel it a little bit. And you see me bring it in to turn it from chamfer to a bevel. And we'll bevel this point as well. And you know, these areas are kind of tight with their geometry. However, let's say that we want to bevel this. Well, we see that Despite all of my efforts, the weighting that we're able to give this is not able to exceed the initial bevel value that was given in order to make this area possible. And that's because of our order of operations that was being performed. But let's say that we did want to make this work and we want to give this a really large bevel or really let's give this one a really large bevel because that one would make more sense. So let's press B in order to bevel and we can press B again in order to cancel and we'll press tab in order to pause. So from here, I'm just going to bevel this point so it's something large. And then we can go back and bevel these points to a lesser degree and a smaller level of weight than what we have relative to this. So this is actually our starting point for what we're dealing with whenever it comes to the bevel. We're hoping that as time goes on, we'll be able to offer alternative solutions to making this even more efficient and better. But for now, this is our initial implementation of bringing back bevel to Ngon, which is a bit of an event for us. So we'll middle mouse button, rotate our view, bring this down, extrude it, click and apply. And just like that, you now see that we have bevel as part of Ngon for individual points inside of box cutter. It also goes without saying that you are able to basically draw a shape with Ngon like you see me doing now and then still drag the bevel dot in order to bevel all of the points in which you see me able to drag it in from a bevel to a chamfer. But we're also able to metal mouse button over individual points and adjust their individual weights in the event that we need to get something a little bit more precise now. So the systems that we had previously are able to be used in conjunction with the new ones. And as we improve our ability to redistribute the weights between the points, as users make changes, it'll become even more versatile and allow you to get even more interesting combinations when it comes to your bevels. A very strange bug was also brought to our attention where basically if you were to press backspace with your mouse hovering over a point, it would actually cancel out the shape. So I'm just showing that that issue has actually been resolved as well. And you're able to now continue drawing your shape even with bevel active and no longer have an issue with your shape being canceled out at a time when you're in the middle of working on it. So we have been also working on the point system as a whole to improve its stability for Blender in general.